Hi again. I'd like to talk a little more about Swift. And uh, earlier, you know, we talked about IB outlets. And there's another counterpart to that called IB action. And the IB outlet is sort of like, you know, attaching objects on the screen in interface builder or in storyboard to variables, okay? And essentially, it's sort of a name that it's attached to the element, and then you can talk to that element. Um, IB actions are a little different. They're tied to elements that you might interact with. So an IB action is going to be called, it's going to be attached to a function, and that function is going to be called when you interact with the element on the screen in Storyboard, okay? Well, let's do an example, okay? So, uh, you know, this is my weather app here that I've been mocking up. And what I want to do is I want to allow the, the user to input a city name and then we'll retrieve the weather for that city name, okay? So right now I don't have any buttons or anything on here that, um, that you can click on. And, you know, you can set this up in any number of ways. And just for fun, I'm going to do it with a toolbar. So um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll scroll down to the bottom here and I'm going to find the um, the toolbar here there's a toolbar it's a you know what is it here it's the uh, the UI toolbar okay um, and you, you know we could use a button or anything for this um, but uh, I'm just going to use the toolbar just to show you how to use the toolbar for fun, right? So a toolbar is a little bar that goes at the bottom of the screen, and you can add a bunch of toolbar buttons to it, okay? So um, what I'm going to do is, um, well, you can see here, here's the bar button item. It goes on the toolbar or the navigation bar. So I'm going to drag one of these out on the screen here, and you can place it anywhere. I'm going to put it at the bottom here. It can actually go at the top, too. I said the bottom earlier, but uh, it can actually go at the top. Um, so I'll place it there, and then you could use constraints to, you know, set its position on the screen. Okay, I'm just going to skip the constraints for now and just leave it here. And by default, my, uh, my toolbar comes with a single button. Okay, so you can see in the outline view here, this is the toolbar, and then there's the one button on the toolbar. And this button, um, when you click on it, um, it's got its own properties, and you can give it a style here. So you can say black or black transparent. Um, and actually, let me click on the button. Yeah, there's the button right there, and you can see the identifier can be any one of these um, basic identifiers. It can be an add button or the uh, edit button you know, or the done button, whatever you want to do with it. Um, these are kind of the default buttons that are built in for Apple. And it's if you're going to use a default sort of action, then you should use one of these default items here. And you can see like the add button doesn't say add. It's got a plus sign. But if they come up with a better icon for it, if you've used the identifier here for that particular item, then it'll update when they update the OS. So, you know, that's why it's better to use um, the option here if it's available. In our case, they don't have an option here for city. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, choose custom. And then I'll double click on the name here and type in city. And so then I can modify it and it can be my own custom button. Okay. Um, so anyway, so there's our button. And now how do we get the button linked into our, um, to our code, right? So we're going to use an IB action for that. Um, and so to get the IB action to work, we're going to follow the same steps that we used when we did the IB outlet. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to open up the um, the assistant editor and have the um, the main I mean the the view controller Swift displayed on the left side here. So what I'll do is I'll hold the option key, or actually I'll, I'll um, option click. So I'm going to hold the option key and click on on view controller .swift, and you can see that the um, view controller opens up over here. Okay, maybe I'll arrange this a little bit there. And what I want to do now is I want to um, click on the city button, right? And I'm, I'm going to hold the control key. And then I'll click on city and drag into view controller Swift. Okay? 
And the little box opens up here, and it wants to make an outlet, because we can have an outlet to this button also, which would allow us to hide and show it, or maybe change the text label for some reason. Um, but if we want to, to, you know, receive an action or a notification when someone interacts with the button, then we have to make this an action, okay? So this is outlet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the menu here and choose... Um, and actually, for some reason, it's not showing me. Yeah, you'll notice it says object is view controller. It doesn't say the button. So I've got the wrong item here. So it's good that we read this before just clicking OK, right? I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to click on the button again. Control key and drag from my button there. Oh, it still says view controller. So I'm having some trouble getting to that button. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get it from here. Um, and drag, so I'll just control drag from there, and uh, yeah, now I've got IB action there, okay? So um, so it says type UI bar button item, so that's, that's actually what I want to see there, and then right here, I'm going to switch this to action, okay? Um, and then we can give it a name, so I'm going to say, you know, city button tapped okay and uh, that'll be my action and then I'll click connect okay and now you can see that uh, that Xcode gives me an IB action here right and instead of giving me just a variable definition like we have above here with the IB outlets it gives me an IB action but it's also in the form of a function right so it shows me function here and then it says city label or city button tapped right and then sender is any object right so just as a quick test for this i'm going to um, put a print line in here and say you know you tapped the city button right and then i'll save that and then we can test our app So we'll wait for it to build here with uh, the Xcode simulator. So there we go. And then there's my app and there's my toolbar there. And if I tap on the button here, you can see the uh, the bar opens up here at the bottom and you can see it says you tap the city button so here's the console here you know if you don't see the left or the right side of the console you can uh, you can click on these little buttons here right um, so anyway there you go there's there's an IB action and you can have actions for everything you know these um, UI labels don't have an action but if you make a button or some other interactive element then it'll have it can have an IB action and you can put that in here and put some code attached to the action that'll run when you tap or interact with that element, okay?